nitric oxide is, a, is an extremely important sig signaling molecule and gas uh, in the body. Uh, we know that it signals blood vessels to relax. It uh, promotes dilation and circulation in the body. In fact, in, in 1998, uh, the Nobel Prize uh, was won uh, by three uh, scientists uh, for their contribution in discovering uh, the, the, the valuable benefits of nitric oxide in the body. Uh, nitric oxide is a very unstable, short-lived uh, gas in the body. Uh, it's produced by our own endothelial cells in our blood vessels and in our oral mucosa. Uh, and as I mentioned, it really has a broad impact on health. The problem is, is that it's decreased by 50% uh, in men and up to 65% in women by the time uh, we're aged uh, 40. Uh, it can be found naturally in, in beets and in, in green leafy vegetables. And uh, from a body standpoint, we know that it uh, supports healthy blood pressure, uh, promotes cardiovascular and heart health, promotes circulation and healthy uh, arterial function. Uh, for the last fi five years, uh, we've been uh, very fortunate to be working with Dr. Nathan Bryan, who is a, a PhD at the University of Texas. Uh, and he was responsible for the, the development of the first oral replacement form of nitric oxide really in two forms. Uh, one form is called Neo40 and the other is called Superbeats. Uh, in our work with, uh, with Dr. Brian, he then went on to develop uh, a, a topical nitric oxide generating uh, serum. Uh, and from a histology standpoint, uh, we conducted over the last three years uh, uh, double-blinded placebo-controlled studies uh, looking at uh, the effects of topical nitric oxide on the skin was that uh, it was tremendous at stimulating fibroblast proliferation and migration. We found that it promoted uh, angiogenesis in wounds. Uh, it's able to increase uh, collagen extracellular matrix production and deposition. But more importantly, it, it modulates inflammation and our immune response. So in doing that, uh, we found it has a tremendous benefit in regulating tissue remodeling to reduce uh, scarring. Uh, as an ancillary benefit, we also found that it increases uh, follicles in, in the growth phase and helps to, rege uh, to regenerate the dermal papilla uh, cell in, in the hair follicle. Uh, it's very apropos right now with, uh, with COVID, we found that it has a tremendous anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal uh, benefit. With everyone now uh, wearing masks, we've seen a lot of perioral uh, dermatitis, and so topical nitric oxide has really worked tremendously. Um, so we, out of this, we generated uh, uh, four papers, two of which now have been uh, published. The first uh, was published uh, in the Annals of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery in April uh, of this year, uh, looking at the effects uh, on aging skin. And with, uh, with these patients, again, this was, this was double-blinded, placebo-controlled. We found that through its effect of increasing vascularity, uh, uh, it also acts by itself, but as a tremendous this vehicle for the absorption of whatever other product a patient uh, is using. So uh, most patients now will use whatever facial wash they use, apply the topical nitric oxide, uh, and then it really helps whatever else they use to get absorbed better. Uh, within af After 12 weeks of utilization uh, in this study, 85% uh, of patients uh, showed an improvement in their skin quality a reduction in fine lines and an, uh, an improvement in overall skin texture uh, and decrease uh, in hyperpigmentation. We were able to utilize, uh, there's a, a tremendous system uh, called Quantificare, which is a three-dimensional camera system that measures the depth of wrinkles, pore size, the overall evenness of skin, oiliness, pigment, and vascularity. So this was a tremendous uh, way to objectify what otherwise are, are quite subjective uh, features. And so that was really the highlight of this paper was being able to, able now to objectify these features. Uh, the second paper that uh, we published was in the, the Journal of uh, Pharmaceutica Analytica. Uh, and it was uh, looking at uh, the effects of nitric oxide on inflammation, particularly uh, in the acne population. And uh, 
the, the summary of that study again was after uh, 12 to 16 weeks of utilization, we found that it, uh, it had a 60 to 70% reduction in uh, active acne, both with reducing pustules and comedones. Its anti-inflammatory effect was tremendous at reducing erythema uh, uh, in these patients. Uh, many patients of Asian, Mediterranean, Hispanic, uh, heritage also suffer from post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH after acne. So it had a nice benefit that again, we were able to objectify with Quantificare of decreasing hyperpigmentation. Uh, what was very interesting in the acne population, many, many chronic acne patients have problems with self-esteem. So we utilized linear analog uh, scales in these patients and found that it had a tremendous improvement uh, and, and, and led to an improvement in their own sense of self-esteem as well. Many acne patients are, are, are very depressed. Uh, and over time then, uh, because it's able to modulate uh, fibroblast activity, uh, patients who then went on to use it for, for 12 to 18 months uh, saw an improvement uh, again in their, in their acne scarring. So we were, we were very excited to, uh, to bring science to, to nitric oxide uh, on the skin. Uh, and really, the, the, we've really just scratched the surface, I think, of this very valuable uh, molecule uh, in, in uh, uh, plastic surgery and in dermatology.